Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Console Mods and today we are looking at the Warren D53233 JBE which came out just before Christmas and I haven't had a chance to have a look at it so I thought we'd go over and do the wooden bridge mission on the Yukon because I haven't done hardly any of that so let's go inside and have a look what options are available in the garage so there it is in the garage and we've got three different engine options there and we will opt for the larger one I think. I have got another vehicle all set up ready to go actually so we just go through what's available. So we've got the normal gearboxes and then we've got the JBE transmission and then suspension there's two active suspensions and then you've got your stock, your raised and then your JBE suspension as well. And then tyre choices, the same as all the JBE ones. It's pretty much got more or less every tyre available. There's a huge list. The only downside on console is you've got to scroll all the way down them. The sooner they put subcategories, the better. Because otherwise you're just pressing the button. Now I'm doing this on the PS5 and it seems to be a little bit quicker. But even so, it takes time to scroll down through the menu. But plenty of tyre choices and we've got the quasi wheels in there. I do like them. Well, there's a huge amount of tyres choices now and uh, that's what we need. And that's all your tyres. So you can see there's a huge choice of tyres available then winches we've got with normal winches and of course the autonomous which we always want we need that on every truck we really do and then he's got the different spare wheel options where there's that one's in the cab there on the seat and then you've got that one on the side and then where was that those two underneath as well which gives you one spare wheel obviously and then snorkel options got a few different snorkel options available and then frame add-ons. Now there's a huge amount of frame add-ons available for it, as you can see. It's more or less got everything, and a few others in between. Just like that. So moving on to the front side, and then we've got just got the angled visors with the beacons, and go to the rooftop, and we've got the Cage beacon, flasher bar, fog lights, beacons with fog lights, and then just roof lights. Quite a few different bumper configurations. I'm not too keen on most of these bumpers. That one goes pretty well. It looks pr pretty much... I like that. Loads of lights. And then under miscellaneous, we've just got some horns and more beacons. And then as I've got the hood lights on there as well and then exhaust couple of different exhaust options and a few different rims just like that so going into color, color choices we've got all our standard color choices then he's actually got some more choices going on down here well there is quite a few different varieties there if you so want want that there is loads there and then we've got all your bobbleheads and everything are in there with all your other stickers and your exterior stickers as well so jobs are good and so let's go and jump in the other one right I've got this one ready to go I've got the high lift no, have we got we've got the active suspension. I can't remember if I raised it or not. Yeah, I did raise it, so let's got that down a little bit. And then we've just got to go down to the wooden bridge. So nice easy one. And I've also got the crane just in case I do roll it because this is a flyer. It really is. This is probably one of the quickest trucks I've driven in the game. You've got to be be careful with it and I'll tell you what am I going the wrong way already yes you are 
we we'll go in down that, that way over the bridge and we will go shall we cut across there no let's go around the other way let's just plan the route out not there put it on there and then down towards that bridge and then back up the other side uh, up to there jobs are good at it's easy for planning do you know where you're going it's a lot easier so let's crack on now when you put this into high it goes well it really does probably a bit well no it's probably about perfect these are the sort of trucks I, I love with the truck with that little bit more extra power. Whoa, whoa, steady. Yeah, so you've got to be careful. Because I still haven't plugged my wheel in, I've got to get back on the wheel. Um, what's going on? We don't want to go that way, we want to go that way. Because using it on the wheel is just got so much control. It's uh, crazy. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's just go to low and kick it through nice and steady as you should do you don't need to fly around everywhere it doesn't help in the water and mud anyhow oh we installed it then we did stall it let's just get it through the mud and get up there oh camera's spinning up a bit higher then there you go leap oh let's just leave that camera up there and all should be good, as long as you don't roll it. Now I've been meaning to get on with this map all over Christmas and just been so sidetracked doing other things. So I thought, right, we're just going to get on and I'm going to do a few a day. A few episodes of this a day at least and we'll, uh, we'll get it cracked out because we'll probably be getting the next update. and. Hopefully about four weeks time, four, probably four to eight weeks time being realistic. But we shall see. Oh. Because I have been using some of the cutting across the, uh, the rivers here and there. And that's, that's good fun. I, I have lost a few vehicles. And I've got a truck down here already. Where are we going there? Uh, I lost that one already. Oh, I thought we were going to sustain a load of damage there. But this foreign has got to be the quickest. Quickest one out there at the moment for consult. Oh, you twat. Yeah, as soon as you... Oh. Unbelievable. I just had that feeling then, yeah, you're going to lose it. Never mind. Get rid of that. You can mind it moving. Yeah, we're in high. That's why you crashed. You're going a bit too quick. So I probably should do it on the flat, but never mind. Let's just get this crane up. Get them loaded. Well, we might get away with that. Come on, extend out. That's what we want. Tell you what, let's see if we can pack that first. Because we'll only end up knocking it off. Probably should have the legs out. We're all good. Come on, get in there. It's a bit lazy. But never mind. It's done. And we are away, which is why I always bring a crane, otherwise I'm just, yeah, 
I was looking into that hardcore, they, they were showing some bits on Discord about the hardcore mode. Now that's going to up the gameplay a little bit. Should be some good fun. And I'll tell you what, I think we're going to skip over the top and go around. Because we should be able to get over these rocks. Yeah, no problem. As long as I don't put it into high, we should be good to go. Oh. Flying through this water. Now, why can't all the tyres have this much grip? All it needs is a bit more realistic approach to it. And let's go to change suspension up a little bit. And I'll tell you what, well, we don't really need to go through the water, do we? We can always go around. Going around is the easy one. Because it does get pretty deep out there. Whoa. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's drop that suspension down. Much better. Oh, flying. Absolutely flying along the rails. Like, what a difference a modded truck makes to getting the job done. Oh, I got stuck on the rail there. Probably do it in about a third of the time. Easily. If you've been using the Boron JBE, let me know in the comments how you, what you think about it. Or whether you think it's a bit too overpowered. Now, I think we've got to go down that way. Because personally, I like the little bit of overpower and then if you don't want that, you can always get the smaller engine anyhow. Well, that's it. Job's good, and And yeah, I've got a bandit down there. So I think I'm going to get the rotator because this is an ideal bridge as well. I wonder if it will pick it up. Well, we know this crane won't, but there you go. So yeah, I'll have to get the rotator down and see if we can pull that back up. So. There you go, right out. That's it for the first look at the Warren I32, uh, which way are we going? We'll go around the left, I think. I3233 JBE, or by J Boosted. Now he's got quite a few of his mods come to console now, and uh, yeah, love them, really do. Especially this one, he's a flyer. Right out, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, I will see you on the next one.